Hey guys, so I've been seeing a ton of tutorials up on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere of cinnamon buns because everybody loves cinnamon buns, but I know that not everybody has yeast right now. It's a hard ingredient to find. I know flour is even pretty hard to find right now, but if you can get your hands on some flour, I did my own take on cinnamon rolls and I actually made puff pastry rolls. So I did two different types, so it's kind of a three-in-one tutorial today because we're going to be making a rough puff pastry, cinnamon rolls, and I did a rosemary prosciutto and cheese roll. It's just a savory version. If you don't like prosciutto or if you don't like cheese, no big deal. You can add whatever savory ingredients you want, but hopefully this gives you some inspiration for dinner and dessert. The first thing we're gonna do is make our rough puff pastry. And the first step is putting our flour and butter into a food processor. If you don't have one, you can do this by hand. Just cut your butter into smaller chunks. It's gonna be room temperature, but slightly like cold. Like you just took it out of the fridge 30 minutes before you're ready to go. You want to pulse that in your food processor until you get big crumbs. You don't want this to mix in completely or melt the butter because that butter is what's going to make it flaky later on. You add your water to that crumbly mixture and then you end up with a dough. You're just going to stir it with a fork. You don't need to knead it or anything like that. And then let it chill in the fridge for 20 minutes. Once it's finished chilling, you're going to bring that dough out, put it onto your lightly floured surface and start to work with it and roll it out. Now we're going to be rolling this into long rectangles and the reason that we're doing that is because we are going to fold it over and over onto itself into thirds each time. So we'll bring up the bottom third, bring down the top third and keep going. And the reason that we're doing this is because we want to create layers so that when you do finish with your dough, you do end up with layers and layers of flaky pastry rather than just one thick, tough dough. As you're rolling out your dough, you should see that it almost looks marbled. You'll see little chunks of butter throughout the dough. That's a good thing. If those chunks start to look melty or are starting to blend in, you're overworking your dough or just starting to get too warm. So you can always pop it back in the fridge in between your rolling and folding process. Or if you see that all of those chunks are starting to go away, you've gone too far. You want to do this a few times. Um, just to make sure that everything is worked in evenly, I would say probably anywhere from four to seven times until you get a nice even distribution of your butter chunks all throughout. Once it looks nice and smooth, but you still have those chunks of butter, you're going to pop it back in the fridge for another 20 minutes. Wrap it in saran wrap, let it get nice and chilled. While it's chilling, this is the perfect time to start on your filling, start all your prep work, because once it's done, you can roll it out and work with it. So while that's in the fridge, we're going to start on our cinnamon bun filling. So I'm just adding butter, brown sugar, and cinnamon to my mixing bowl. You could definitely just do this part with a hand mixer as well, or even by hand if you let your butter melt a little bit. But I just find it easiest to do it right in the stand mixer. So I let it whip up until it all comes together into one thick paste. Um, the warmer your butter is, the thinner your paste will be, and it will be a little easier to spread. So I would recommend having butter that's warmer than room temperature or slightly melted. Once your pastry comes out of the fridge, I'm going to cut it in half so I can use half for my savory and half for my sweet. You will see that there's lots of different butter layers in there and that's exactly what we're looking for. You're going to roll this out into a rectangle. It's about a 9 by 12. You might be able to get it a little bit bigger. Obviously, if you do the full dough, you should get to around an 18 by 12. But the thinner you roll it, the better. Um, it will puff up a lot because it is puff pastry, so don't worry about, you know, are my cinnamon rolls going to be too thin after all of this? Literally just roll it as thin as you can. You're going to spread your cinnamon mixture as evenly as you can across the entire piece of dough. You don't want to miss any corners or edges because every part that you spread it in will be a part of your cinnamon bun that later does have full filling. When we're doing our savory one, we're just spreading butter, a little bit of rosemary, and then all of our cheese on top. Now, if you want to do a different kind of savory, by all means, figure out what you want. You could even spread ranch dressing in there. You could spread pizza sauce and make these pizza rolls. Really whatever your heart desires. We just went with a simple cheese, rosemary, and prosciutto roll. Um, I just use the butter to help everything stick and because butter makes everything better. Once all your prosciutto is layered in there, you can start to roll up your dough. Um, same with the cinnamon. We just roll it from the bottom all the way to the top and then make one thin log. Once you finish rolling your logs, you're going to pop them into the fridge for 20 minutes. This is going to make them a lot easier to cut. When they're finished chilling, you pull them out and then you're going to score them to make sure that each of your buns is going to end up as an even size. For the cinnamon rolls, I'm going to use a clean piece of thread to slice through them evenly without squishing them at all or making any indentations. This will keep them perfectly round before they go into the pan. You want to choose a pan that gives them a little bit of room to grow. This is puff pastry, so they will spread out quite a bit. So you do just want to make sure they're evenly spaced and ready to puff up. 
Once they're in the oven, you can start making your glaze or your frosting. In this case, I'm literally just using cream cheese, icing sugar, and vanilla. A lot of these recipes might call for butter or extra ingredients, but there's nothing better on a cinnamon bun than pure cream cheese icing. So that's what we're making today. It is going to be pretty thin, but we really just want this to be a glaze over our golden brown cinnamon buns. Once they come out of the oven, let them cool for about 5-10 minutes so you don't burn yourself, and then you can start spreading the glaze. It doesn't have to be perfect, because they're still warm, it will start to melt down the sides and just coat each bun perfectly. Now these won't be perfectly round because they are puff pastry, but they will be super flaky and delicious. The inside you'll notice big air pockets and that's exactly what we're going for. They'll be gooey on the bottom and crispy on the top. For our prosciutto rolls, we can't use the thread technique because it won't go through the prosciutto, so I'm just using a clean pair of scissors to make nice even cuts and then reshaping them with my hands so they are a little bit more round. Now in this video I placed them in a pan that was way too small, so I did transfer these later into a larger pan. You do want to have as much room as we had in our cinnamon bun pan so they have room to grow. I brushed the tops of each bun with a little bit of butter and then put some cheese on top. Again, we're going to bake these until golden brown and sizzling. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, but more importantly, I hope you enjoy your puff pastry rolls.